Sometimes I feel like parts of my life could be a movie, or even sometimes experience moments that feel like a fairy tale that make them feel unreal. I believe in the law of attraction, where you believe that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into a person's life. This is the story of how positive thoughts brought four creatives together, all because of a simple thank you message. And one of those creatives took me skydiving. Okay, so here's a quick little backstory for you guys. My name is Jamie Fenn, and one day I woke up to a DM on Instagram from this guy named Connor, and he sent me a video of something that he created after watching one of my tutorials. And he said, hey man, thank you so much for all you do. If you're ever in Atlanta, I'll buy you a skydive. A few things clicked with me at that moment in my life. One is that I typically do a, like a trip sometime in October just because here in Colorado it's not quite winter and it's not quite summer. So I hadn't booked a trip yet. I also have a friend that I've been talking to since quarantine started and her name is Lydia and we've always talked about meeting up at some point in the future and she also lives in Atlanta. So when he mentioned that he was from Atlanta, I was like, hmm, maybe I should book a trip. So I DM'd him back and I was like, hey man, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna take you up on that offer. So then I FaceTimed him and worked out the details. Then I booked a ticket and two weeks later, I was on a plane headed to Atlanta. Attention passengers, we've now reached our destination. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a nice day. So here we are in Atlanta. I'm in my Airbnb right now. I'm currently getting ready to head over to the drop zone. I am about an hour away, but I'm drinking some coffee real quick and then I'm gonna make my way out. I've never jumped out of a plane before and it's gonna be fucking crazy. Like, what? As skydivers, we typically ask people all the time, like, you want to come skydiving with us? And people say yes, and, and they don't. So one of my favorite YouTubers, I thought, you know what? I appreciate everything he's doing. So I'm going to send him a DM and be like, hey, man, if you're ever in Atlanta, come on a skydive. Not thinking much of it. Well, today, it's happening. Flew into Atlanta, and we are skydiving. And here he is. What's up, dude? How are you, stoked? <laughs> yeah, I'm very stoked. I'm nervous. <laughs> Freaking out a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be it's so, so sick. Good. Yes. After I arrived, Connor introduced me to some of his friends. I then signed my life away. That was fun. I also watched the guys jump and have a blast. Then I wanted to ask them some technical questions about how they pack their chutes and how risky skydiving is. While waiting nervously, I heard over the loudspeaker, Connor and Jamie, please enter the loading area. Thank you. It's time to suit up. How long, have you, how long have we been here? Or you've been here for? I've been here since 12.30. 12.30? 12 12 30. One. Yeah. So I've only been sitting here nervous for about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> so all the real nerves are about to start kicking in. It was finally time to suit up, get my gear on, and get acquainted with my instructor. So that's my skydive instructor, Kevin. He's the man, and let's just say he knows how to keep the mood light. Just come out, and you're gonna feel the wind. You feel it, just like this. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. But then we talked about our rig and the safety precautions we would have to take in order to have a safe jump. I was pretty chill at this point. I've been nervous, like excited since I woke up. I couldn't sleep last night, couldn't sleep the night before. He just told me a bunch of things that I, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And before I knew it, I was on the plane getting ready for the ride of my life. <laughs> right at this moment, I stepped up to the edge and my nerves have been exhausted to the point where I basically went numb and my adrenaline had just been pumping through my veins at like full speed. And then all of a sudden I felt Kevin launch us out of the plane. How you feel? Dude, that was unfucking real. <laughs> it was so fast and it was so. Oh, I don't even know how to explain. Explain. I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even talk. Wow, dude. Wow. And then the ride down was amazing. Oh, dude, dude, thank you so much for coming out, oh, man. That was so fucking cool. I'm so glad you came out. After an insane day, it was time to hop in the car, pick up my friend Lydia, and see what North Georgia had to offer. 
What up, guys? What's up? I'm Lydia. This is Jamie. Right now, we're eating some chicken wings. Boom. <laughs> On the left. No. Oh. You know how they do like Vaseline <laughs> to make it look vintage? I did a tutorial on it. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. You're serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So today we've just been adventuring around. We tried to go up north to mm -hmm. the uh, Talululu Falls. Talululu. Tulula Falls. And we they were, were trying to find the Aspen tree. Anyway, we met on <laughs> Instagram and we started FaceTiming during quarantine, which was like six months ago. And yeah. then one of his subscribers wanted to take him skydiving. So he flew to Atlanta, went skydiving, and hung out with me. So we're actually going to meet up with Connor and his girlfriend and we're going to adventure around. I've never been here i don't think you've ever been here no and we got a watermelon we got a freaking watermelon it took us a long time to yeah, pick our watermelon because her strategy was like not working at all <laughs> okay if you pick the pretty one it must taste good yeah the prettiest Are you struggling? one struggling no i've just been trying to eat, open this for the last five minutes. Dude. Anyway, so her watermelon picking abilities were amazing. She like threw it in the air, listened we for an Googled, echo. Wait, we Googled how to tell what's a good watermelon and it was literally like, sniff it, test it. That was her job. <laughs> <laughs> Pat it, take out your watermelon testing kit. I'll take a sample. And we don't have a knife. This genius over here wants to throw it at a rock. Yes, and then we got extra forks and you just like dig in. I think yeah. it's a really good strategy. We're gonna see how that works out. Keep you posted. Cheers. It's all about me So after our little hike, we decided to go get some food and we headed over to this town called Helen. It was kind of like a German theme and it was really cute. It had all these lights and there were a lot of cool locations to take photos. Nighttime photos. This is a pretty sweet bridge and taking them out downtown Helen, getting some funnel cake. Time she tries to use her camera, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this place has the best fudge. So, on my last day, I met up with Lydia once again and we explored some of her favorite spots in downtown Atlanta. Today is Monday. Monday's plan is to explore Atlanta See as much as possible. Yeah. Today. <laughs> We made it to Marquise, and this hotel, it's really cool. What are, what are your thoughts? Great. You ready to go up? Go up. Yeah, we're gonna go up. Yeah, cool. Going up to floor 41. Look at this craziness. Check out this pano that she's doing right now. This is insane. Oh, what? Wow, <gasps> you nailed that shit. That was so, so cool. sick. We are now in a tunnel. That looks really cool. Here we go. No. All right, we are now in this a tunnel in this restaurant. It's kind of the part of the bar. So it's really cool. It has all these lights and the mirrors. 
in the mirrors. And now he's wearing my sunglasses. And I'm wearing her sunglasses. Because I have better taste. <laughs> we had a late start to the day and now it's already 2.30 and we've just been walking around. We've just spent so much time. I know, I'm hungry too. Okay, bye. Now, if it's one thing you guys take away from this video, it's that you should trust your intuition and always think positively. And if there's an opportunity and you feel good about it, you should just go with it and make the most of it because sometimes those will turn out to be some of the best memories of your life. I just wanted to give a big thank you to Connor, Caitlin, and Lydia. You guys made my trip amazing. Thank you for all the filming you guys did as well. And for everyone that's watched this, thank you. And I will see you in my next video. That is a cute shot. <laughs> and you know how to shoot left in your hand, bro. Oh, you on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> is that Louis Vuitton? This is my vlogging setup. <laughs> Nature. Neat. You can tell because of how neat it is. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. The messiest dessert I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> And she is about to just explode. <laughs> like I did just all over my pants. Twice. And we go back to him. Oh yeah. Jamie, your turn. Go ahead and uh, dislocate your shoulders completely. Oh I can't do that shit. Yeah, Yes, sir. That looks like I'm taking a dump right now. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> B-roll. B-roll? <laughs> we will be getting the camera out to shoot B-roll. <laughs>